Hello guys, in this video, we'll learn to consume Hugging Face Inference API to build our own AI agents using Rust. In the previous videos on my channel, we have been building AI agents tools and mostly we run the models locally on our machine with Olama. If you don't know how to, the video should be popping somewhere on right top. Make sure to click it, watch it before moving on to this. While Olama is simply amazing and does the job for us, still Olama provides us access to very few models that are available open source on the internet since Olama mostly provides us access to the well-known providers. And secondly, you have to run those models locally on your machine. But Hugging Face, which is a more bigger registry or repository for models, you can find different versions of models, tens and thousands of models. They are trained with distilled or even the uh, other versions as well that you can consume. And you can also use uh, Hugging Face Inference API, obviously, uh, the free usage is a bit limited, but again, you can, you know, play around for your projects. So that's what we'll check in this video and we'll cover how can we do it in Rust? Uh, how can we build tools or agents around it? So without further ado, let's dive into it and let's begin. And as we start, there's a link to my Discord in description. So make sure to join it. Go to your favorite browser and search for Hugging Face. Just do a pretty straightforward sign up. You don't need any credit card or any financial details. You just need an email or password as we speak and username and few other details to sign up. And if you have an account already, just log in. And right here, we have different models, data sets, spaces. Now, a few of these models, which you can already see and tell, hey, this is not available on Odama. Yes, that's a point. So these are different models that uh, we can use and uh, you can search for models and you can find different other models for you know text generation text to speech or even image generation so these are different other models that you can uh, use as you can see automatic speech recognition so let's say we want to use uh, uh, re labs model or maybe quen model so let's say 8b if we want to use you can you know read about this model here all the details overview and everything else that you want to read and this is the this is the only thing that we need uh, the model repo and the name but along with that we need also a token so you can also check your usage quota here of how much you have for free so access tokens and here we need to generate a token so press create token and here you can just give any name so let's say dummy now either you can you know uh, select specific uh, actions that you want to allow or you can uh, allow you know uh, read or uh, write access so let's say for now we just allow the read access press create token you'll get a token which looks something like this so just copy your token press done in your id your text editor add a rust project and in cargo terminal file add a few dependencies that we need rig code this is something that we'll be using now onwards in all of my videos for using uh, llms like consuming llms be it local or hugging phase or any other providers that we are consuming directly it's a one-stop shop for, you know, you can consume the basic and you can also use uh, for embeddings and different other aspects that we'll cover in different videos. Tokyo, again, for uh, async programming, Saturday for serialization, deserialization, this error for error handling, and Saturday JSON we need for JSON. Now let's move to ManRS. So let's start pretty basic uh, API key. Here you can provide your API key or yeah, you can add in any env file and then just consume from there and once you have your key you can just do client and client builder so here you can see anthropic or hugging face i'll be using hugging face and so providers you can also you know check what providers are there literally you can find provider for mostly all the uh, you know models available there so build Let's say providers and now you can see anthropic azure like deep seek gemini croc mira xai ulama openai like literally everything xai so yeah you can find pretty much everything here and we don't need self okay so once we have that uh let agent client dot agent and here you can decide which model you want to use so i'm just using the model that we just check on the internet and here we can just provide a system prompt as you guys can see so let's say you are an expert of uh, marketing and 
filled. And now let response is equals to agent dot prompt. And here you can just provide your uh, prompt. So let's say explain to me what is digital marketing in 20 words. And wait, unwrap, print, and right here we can just print our response now trust me or not this is everything that you need to you know uh, use the inference api for literally any model any maybe any text model uh, available there on hugging face this is literally everything that you need and then we can just do cargo run quite to test this okay so we get an error saying it's too large to be loaded automatically uh, since we are using a free uh, bundle so let's use uh, let's try to consume other model which are which can be let's try to run this deep seek model so we just change to deep seek okay here you go we get our response the thinking part and here is the response saying digital marketing uses online channels like social media website and search engines to promote brands drive sales and engage customers through strategies like SEO, content marketing and paid ads so that's basically working and we are able to uh, you know do inference for this model so that's for the basic use cases now let's try to build some tools around as well let's try to build pretty basic straightforward calculation tool so right here uh, we'll just say struct and uh, let's call our tool as calculator derive uh, deserialize and serialize and then we'll just impulse tool for calculator and once we decide to impulse this tool we need to provide implementation for all of these name error arguments output definition and call so let's start and let's first of all uh, use this as a for addition for now and then the error so let's say struct error and on top derive debug and this error error and error as let's say math error or mathematics error anything that you want to add and then we also want to add operation arguments so let's say x as u32 and then we have a y as u32 for now we are just building a simple calculator tool but again, the way to build all of your complex tools also remains the same. Deserialize. So we have our tool, we have our uh, operations, and let's use everything. So this one is error that we just add. And arguments are our operation args. And output is i32, let's say, or u32. Now let's add the tool definition so right here we'll just add the tool definition let's simplify this to return tool definition tool definition uh working face provider actually we can directly use tool definition yes and right here we can just do tool definition let's remove the one from hugging face and let's use tool so we have to provide name and description and parameters so let's say the name is string from add and the description is uh, let's say a string from at x and y together and 
then we have the final thing which is parameters so right here we can just say json and inside we can just say type as object properties as uh, i don't know properties as x and type as number description as the first number to add and y and type as number and description as second number to add so we have type we have number we have description and the description here would be the second number to add so we have our x and y as sorted and we have our tool definition sorted now right here we can maybe just add a print saying inside the tool and just for our own and then our comments as arcs x plus arcs y and then return ok of result that's pretty much for our call definition and now let's consume our tool let's call this you are an expert in mathematics and tool right here we can just add our calculator and uh, let's just say 2 plus 10 or just let's say calculate 2 plus 10 that's literally all that we need to add here and let's try to run this well, let's run this so car go run wipe and there you go we have inside the tool and then the result as 12 so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys learn something new and try to explore it on your side yes sagging face is limited by quota but if you want your use cases are like that you can even uh, go for a pro uh, variant uh, in the future videos we'll also consume by you know uh, like getting the models on our local without olama and running it uh, and checking the inference but for this video we'll just use using the inference api i'll catch you guys in the other video with another topic until then bye bye